Starting with version 6.2, vSAN can perform block-level deduplication and compression to save storage space. When you enable deduplication and compression on a vSAN all-flash cluster, redundant data within each disk group is reduced. Deduplication removes redundant data blocks, whereas compression removes additional redundant data within each data block. These techniques work together to reduce the amount of space required to store the data. vSAN applies deduplication and then compression as it moves data from the cache tier to the capacity tier. Before enabling deduplication and compression, let's take a look at the vSAN Capacity Overview Dashboard, which can be found on Host and Clusters, Monitor, and then Capacity. The vSAN Capacity Overview Dashboard provides an overview of vSAN storage capacity and savings achieved by enabling deduplication and compression across all vSAN clusters. Now, to enable deduplication and compression, click on Configure. Under vSAN General, click Edit. Under Services, select Deduplication and Compression and click OK. When enabling or disabling deduplication and compression, vSAN performs a rolling reformat of every disk group on every host. The time it takes to complete this operation varies depending on the data that is stored on your vSAN data store. Consider the following design guidelines when configuring deduplication and compression. Deduplication and compression are available only on all flash disk groups. You can enable deduplication and compression only if the storage claiming method is set to manual. You can change the storage claiming method to automatic after deduplication and compression has been enabled. When you enable deduplication and compression on a vSAN cluster, all disk groups participate in data reduction through deduplication and compression. vSAN can eliminate duplicate data blocks within each disk group, but not across disk groups. Capacity overhead for deduplication and compression is approximately 5% of total raw capacity. And lastly, policies must have either 0% or 100% object space reservations. Policies with 100% object space reservations are always honored, but can make deduplication and compression less efficient. Refer back to the vSAN Capacity Overview Dashboard to analyze your deduplication and compression savings. Environments with highly redundant data such as full-clone virtual desktops and homogeneous server operating systems will naturally benefit the most from deduplication. Data that is already compressed such as certain graphic formats and video files as well as the files that are encrypted will yield little or no reduction in storage consumption from compression. In other words, Deduplication and compression results will vary based on the types of data stored in an all-flash vSAN environment. For detailed information on deduplication and compression, be sure to visit docs.vmware.com.